Hello. Uh, we are having a conversation with Ashish Kapoor today, and he is going to talk to us about his uh, transplant experience. So, welcome, sir. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. How are you doing today? Hey, hi, Soha. Thanks for the opportunity uh, for sharing my experiences uh, with you. Uh, I'm doing absolutely fine. Uh, thanks for asking the question. Uh, I think, I've, as you mentioned, I've gone through a kidney transplant earlier, a uh, couple of years back, and uh, God's grace, doing absolutely. That's great, sir. So, sir, um, I'll start by asking, uh, what was your initial reaction when you found out that you need an organ transplant? Yeah. So, so it's never easy to accept. Uh, and uh, obviously, the first question that comes to mind is why me? Why this happened to me? And uh, and then from there on, uh, and why an organ transplant? Isn't there any other treatment that uh, that can help me get better? Uh, so obviously, those are initial thoughts. And then obviously, those thoughts build on in terms of uh, uh, if it's an organ transplant, who who will give me where will I get that organ from? And uh, what's going to be the process, whether it'll be successful, not successful. So there's all those inhibitions in mind, all those questions in, uh, in the mind. Uh, so those are a few initial reactions uh, that both me and my family had when we heard about it for the first time. And how was your family's reaction? Like, you know, did they freak out? Or I'm sure yeah, they had see, to be talk to you. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it is... Uh, it's, it's something which is not very prevalent or it's not something which is very well known, right? So uh, everybody was concerned, uh, uh, like, and everybody's reaction was, I'm sure there's some other way of treating this uh, uh, disease uh, that we have. So, but why transplant? Uh, so, but th that was the initial reaction. But obviously, uh, as they got more aware of it, uh, uh, they were in fair mood. Uh, supportive in terms of uh, yeah, this is the right thing to do because they wanted me to get better. So uh, obviously, first level acceptance came from their side uh, about going through a transplant. Okay, so so tell me more in detail about your whole experience. Obviously, uh, from experience standpoint, uh, we first focus on getting more information uh, about what exactly this transplant all about and it was a matter of talking to as many people in this area as possible so going to the medical experts getting their guidance people who uh, work with those medical experts uh, to guide through the whole process because the whole process involved right uh, uh, you need to uh, have a donor uh, who's ready to donate or obviously you need to enlist uh, in a list wherein you can be on the List and then if uh, if there's an organ available, uh, it can come to you. So there's a whole process involved. And uh, in my case, uh, obviously the donor was for my uh, immediate family. Uh, uh, so from that standpoint, we, uh, even there to just to identify who could be the right donor, uh, because uh, the, uh, there are uh, limitations in terms of who can donate. The person has to be absolutely healthy, right? and the person has to go through his own medical checkup. There has to be a match uh, uh, that has to be there. So we went through uh, a lot of uh, consultations with the medical experts, with the right set, set of social workers, that guided us through the process. Uh, uh, and all this took quite a bit of time. So even just from uh, when, when it was diagnosed in terms of that I needed it, and from the time it could actually happen, it took about six months time uh, because uh, even within your family, if you talk it out, who, who's going to be ready to donate from their side? Even if they're ready, they should be medically fit. And even if they're medically fit, then it has to be matched. So that whole process takes time. Uh, and once uh, once you go through all of that, then the actual process of uh, the surgery and the transplant, that actually happens uh, on you. Uh, so if you're in, uh, uh, if, if, if you... Uh, have gone to the right set of uh, medical uh, power to describe the experiences right from the stage when you, uh, when when the doctors advise us that we, uh, the transplant is the treatment line of treatment through which you have to go through. Uh, uh, essentially, uh, for your own satisfaction or for my own satisfaction or family satisfaction, we went through 
experience other medical consultations by other experts uh, uh, so that we are sure that this is the only line of treatment, the right line of treatment. So that was one piece of it. And then as you talk to more experts, you get convinced about, okay, uh, this is the right course of action that you need to uh, take. Mm. And obviously associated with the medical experts, uh, at least for the uh, organ transplant, uh, essentially for us, uh, uh, I would describe the experiences right from the stage when you, uh, when when the doctors advise us that we, uh, the transplant is the treatment, line of treatment to which I have to go through. Uh, uh, essentially, uh, for your own satisfaction or for my own satisfaction or family satisfaction, we went through various other medical consultations by other experts uh, uh, so that we are sure that this is the only line of treatment, the right line of treatment. So that was one piece of it. And then as you talk to more experts, you get convinced about, okay, uh, this is the right course of action that you need to uh, take. Mm. And obviously associated with the medical experts, uh, at least for the uh, organ transplant, uh, there are laid out procedures uh, uh, by the government, uh, and we, which you need to follow, uh, and you need to be aware of it. So uh, the social work department, which is associated with any hospital or any medical profession, they actually guide you through that. What's the process? Obviously, the process of registration involved. Uh, you can register for uh, uh, organs, which uh, which get available uh, yeah. if somebody has signed up for uh, the donation for, for that. Or, you, uh, or there's a, another process if from your immediate family, somebody Amazing. is willing to donate their all. So you, you get uh, aware of that. Uh, uh, so we, we, we got more aware of that. And then basically the whole uh, discussion with the family started about who could be the right donor. Uh, one in terms of uh, their medical fitness, uh, their willingness to uh, uh, donate. And then the whole process of they getting uh, thoroughly uh, checked up so that uh, they're healthy and in a situation to uh, donate an organ. Uh, so all this takes time. Uh, so one fact that we realize is it's not that uh, your doctor advises you that you need an organ uh, donation and that organ donation will happen next year or next or next day. Uh, right from identification of a donor to be getting tested and uh, there has to be a match in terms of from whom you can actually get an organ. So all that takes time and all that needs a lot of guidance from the medical profession and also from the social work side because uh, there's a lot of laid down procedure with the government has just to ensure that the, there's no uh, 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 nothing wrong which is happening uh, from an organ to donation standpoint, which is all good uh, uh, in, in, in good faith. So it takes time, uh, but when it, when it actually came to the surgery, uh, I think uh, if you have the right medical professionals around you, uh, whom you trust, I think it just take, uh, takes care of uh, the rest of the anxiety in your mind. So, uh, and I think uh, uh, organ transplant, I think it's a well, well practice uh, medical profession now. I think there are a lot of experts who are available both here in India, even abroad. Uh, and I can say that it's a, it's a well-proven science now. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm an example of that, right? So I've got benefited from, so I can say that now. This was my thought earlier because you have those apprehensions. And I'll just give you a quote. But typically when you doctors to talk about, say, uh, organ transplant, there's a success rate of 85 to 90%. Uh, as an individual, your brain always goes at 15% where it didn't work. Uh, you don't focus on that 85% where it really worked. So you always had those questions in mind. But having gone through it, you can relate with that. Uh, yeah. Something really works, and uh, so and the whole procedure uh, it, it was time consuming, but having the right set of people around you helped. Worked it out. That's great. So, uh, sir, uh, since you you mentioned that with the right kind of people, things worked out. I would like to know that uh, if you were aware about all the information that you needed maybe before you found out that you need a transplant done, do you think it could have helped you and your fam family better psychologically to deal with such things? Absolutely. Uh, so I, I would agree with that. Uh, see, uh, lot of, uh, everything was new to us when we uh, found this out. So uh, it started with a lot of apprehensions, a lot of questions, and we, did, we didn't had a, uh, we didn't knew where to go to get those answers. Uh, so obviously, our doctor did uh, kind of provide us with a lot of information, but uh, you always want to uh, have another source to check it out, or you want to uh, get. Uh, and if, when, when doctor talks to you, we talk in the 
medical sense, right? That what you yeah. what, what's going to be be about. But there are a lot of other things, uh, uh, like in terms of uh, who can donate, who cannot donate, where can you get an organ? Because first thing that comes to mind is where will we get the organ from? Uh, and having a a good uh, uh, information uh, so, a, a source would really help. Would have really helped us as well. So we did a lot of our own research, but it took time and. It also took a lot of effort uh, for us to be able to uh, get all those information. And if if there was something which was available uh, uh, upfront, uh, it would have really helped. So we we did our own research, talked to people who both gone through transplant earlier. Uh, we we went to uh, hospitals across India, talking to various medical experts, uh, getting their guidance, getting their reinforcement. Even the fact, see, a lot of time, do you trust your doctor? Uh, a lot of time when you go to other medical profession and you talk to them and you get a reinforcement they are the doctor whom you're going to is a good doctor that itself acts as a big kind of uh, uh, satisfying thing in your mind okay you're, you're at the right place and going to the right uh, set of doctors so all this information if those are readily available I think it's really helpful. it would have helped you much more correct so uh, right. you are doing it today by helping somebody else so great job sir um so, so, sir, uh, you know, there are various myths about organ donation for people out there. And, uh, and you know, some people are also very apprehensive uh, over the idea of uh, donating an organ to somebody. There are various facts involved in it, you know, maybe religion or just uh, how. So uh, how do you think that can be changed or do you have an opinion to share about it? Uh, sure. I have those apprehensions in my mind or in my family initially, right? So uh, my one of my thought was, how can I accept somebody else's organ? Like uh, it, it, it is somebody else's, right? Uh, uh, how can I take it from someone? That was my first thing. And then uh, even from a, a donor standpoint, I think people who are around you who love you, who love you uh, they want you to get better, right? So. Uh, uh, so from that standpoint, I think they were much more willing uh, uh, to be able to help you and uh, and get. But from your own side, you had this animation uh, in your mind. And also, I think uh, just from a, uh, I think I've also interacted with uh, other people uh, in this space because when you go to, uh, go to hospitals and uh, there are people like you who are coming to the same doctor and who would go through similar procedure as, as yours, right? So what you really realize is that uh, uh, this is something uh, which is medically proven. Uh, and if somebody is able to help by donating an organ, uh, organ obviously uh, there are things related to live organ uh, uh, transplant. I'm and then uh, there are also procedures laid down for if somebody mm -hmm. passes away, he can always donate that uh, uh, organ, right? So... Uh, while there are myths, myths could be related to whether it works, myth could be related to uh, certain religion, uh, religious uh, uh, or re beliefs that people may have. So one of the things which I, I would want to say, uh, which I have realized is, and this is coming to me from my Hindu belief is, uh, we, we from this life, we'll get into another life form and we'll not carry our body along with us. But what we will carry is our karma. And uh, by donating your organ, which is your karma, I think you're taking that to your next life. So that will be one of the messages I'll leave for all the donors. Uh, I'll also add my, uh, one of my family members donated me uh, their organ and they're doing absolutely fine. And uh, I, I think one of the things doctors told us was that, uh, remember that the person who donated me uh, her organ, she's the fittest person in the family because they only, uh, they only um, uh, allow uh, someone to donate if they are fit and really yeah. fit. So while various other family members went through all their tests, they got rejected in terms of they cannot give, but uh, she was the one who was allowed to do it. So, uh, but she's feeling absolutely fine. That's great. Good to hear, sir. And that's a really nice message that you've shared with us. So thank you for that. Um, is there anything else you would want to share? A message uh, to people out there? Sure. Uh, sure. See, uh, 
and this is both for maybe from a recipient point of view, uh, somebody who needs to uh, who needs an organ. Uh, I think the message from my, message from my side would be uh, this is something which works. It's medically proven. So while there could be other treatments uh, or other way of uh, dealing with the uh, medical condition that you're going through, if your doctor advises you that this is what you need. Uh, perhaps trust your doctor and go through, and there are complications, but there are medical experts there who, who can deal with it. For the donors, what I would say, uh, you're helping another life form, uh, another person to live uh, their life well. Uh, 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 and if, we're, if, you're able to, if God has put you in a position to be able to do that, uh, uh, I, I will sincerely urge, come forward and make that happen for uh, somebody else. That will be two messages from my side, both for the recipient and for the. Thank you, sir. That's a great message you have shared, and uh, it was great talking to you. So. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity, and it was fantastic sharing my experience. The pleasure was all mine, sir. So. <laughs>